This week's standout student is an artist with keen observation. The senior at Perpich Center for Arts Education has an awareness that stretches well beyond her young age. For Cheryl Zhang, each brushstroke on canvas is another way to express herself. I'm just really into, you know, trying to see how, what are my places and how I can have a voice. Admittedly shy, this 18-year-old at Perfect Arts High School prefers to let her artwork do the talking. And what it says speaks volumes about her experience. It says, American-made but Chinese tries ineffectively to educate others on its culture. She's this filter. She's this lens that absorbs all this stuff and out it comes. Zhang's experience as a Chinese American born and raised in Minnesota filters through her art. Take for example her editorial watercolor painting of a fortune cookie. I really related with that idea of, you know, looking Chinese, but coming from here. The fortune cookie is one in a series of six paintings that won Zhang a National Scholastic Arts Award in a category with 68,000 other entries. She is someone who absorbs everything around her. You know, if artists are to observe the world, the time and place they live in, Cheryl is just taking things in all the time. Visual arts instructor Pat Benincasa is struck by Zhang's thoughtfulness and her ability to express the unspoken. When you look at this work, you know, you're drawn to it. You can't walk by that work, I defy you. Walk by that work, you can't. For Zhang, art is an outlet, but what she loves most about it is that art is experienced differently by each person. Something that you want to admire, you want to think about, or you want to, maybe you don't like it and you just want to like criticize it and that's fine too, you know. While Zhang knows art will always be a part of her life, she hasn't decided yet what role it will play in a future career. Zhang's teacher believes the sky's the limit. Anything she puts her mind to, are you kidding me? It's a done deed. Zhang is currently considering different art schools for the fall.